OK, question number one. When I2 initial concentration of 4.5, OK, you have that initial concentration and you know. OK. I did not type it, but it will be given in the question, OK? So for a reaction <clears throat> where the I2 in the gas bone is going to go to 2I minus in the gas bone, and it has the Kc like this. I did not type the uh, equation, OK? But this should be actually the complete question you're going to see. It tell you, okay, the initial concentration of your I2 gas is 0.45 M, okay, and the Kc is certain value. Calculate the concentration of I minus at equilibrium. So we are going to go through this step by step, okay. Step number one, we want to determine whether we can use small x approximations, right? Can we use it? What is the criteria? OK, you want to have Kc either larger than 10 to the fourth or Kc is smaller than 10 to the negative fourth, right? So right now you know your K is 5.6 times 10 to the negative 12. Can you use small x approximation? The answer is small x approximation. OK, we can use it, right? The next thing you should know is actually the Kc is actually very, very small for these specific reactions, right? That means what? The major species in this reaction should be your reactant. OK, so you know you should start with the concentration with reactants, right? All of them assuming it only exists as reactant. OK? OK, so that's the first step. What is your second step? The ice table, right? OK, so in order to use your ice table, you want to actually write out your equation again, OK? I2 in the gas bone is going to become 2I minus in the gas bone. Then typically you do I, C, E. So what is the initial concentration of I2? Zero point four five, right? What is the initial concentration for I minus? It's not given, right? It's not, right? That means actually the reaction haven't started, okay? They give you the initial one. That means actually at the very initial stage, there's actually no product. Okay, if you did not mention anything about the concentration of your product, just put zero over there. So let's actually your initial condition, right? So once you start the reaction, okay, some change is going to happen. Your reaction is going to decrease. Your product is going to increase, right? So assuming there's actually X moles of your reactant has been disappeared. Okay, and those things will be converted into your product, right? If it's actually minus X for your reactant, what should I put on my product? Plus X. You want to pay attention to the coefficient. Though. There you go, 2x, right? Because if you consume one more of I2, you produce two more of I minus, right? Therefore, you know, if I put negative x because it's consumed, right? Then going to form the product and the concentration should be actually twice because of the coefficients. So once you know that's the change you are going to have, and then once you reach equilibrium, then you know at the very end, there's how many reactions you are going to have. And then there will be lab much product you are going to get. Okay, so this is just you add up the initial and the change, right? And you're going to reach your equilibrium. So number three, 
is you are going to solve for your x, right? So from this equation, you know you can write your k is going to equal to i minus to the second power over your i2 concentration, right? OK. What is the concentration of your I minus? Equilibrium. This is a KEQ, right? It means that is the final things you can put into the KEQ equation. All right. So in this case, what should you put in your I minus term? Yes, 2x. Don't forget rest to the second power, right? How about your denominator? This, right? Okay. All right. So here is actually where you're going to apply the small x approximation, okay? We're going to use the small x approximation here. All right, so because your x is going to be very, very small. OK, so if you write out 0.45 minus x. You will be very, very close to. 0.45. OK, so you can try and make that for something and then make the calculation a lot simpler. OK, on the top will equal to just 4. X square, right? OK. And then we will know the KC is actually provided here, right? You know this thing is going to equal to 5.6 times 10 to the negative 12. Right? Then you just solve for your x, okay? So you know your x squared is going to equal to, I'm going to move this one to the right and then move this one to the right. OK, so what you're going to have is actually 0.45 times 5.6 times 10 to the negative 12 divided by 4. Right? And then I can solve my x. It's going to equal to the square root of this whole thing, right? Okay, so if you do the calculation, you can get a number of 7.9 times 10 to the negative 7. Okay. So that's how you calculate the concentration of X. Okay, so remember, it's X. It's not a concentration of your each species, right? Because you know for each species, the concentration equilibrium is this. Got it? You are solving for X, okay? But the concentration of your I2 and I minus need to be further calculated using this relationship. All right? Yes? When the 0.45 uh, minus the X, is the X zero in that one? Because the X is so small, then we ignore it. OK, so how small is your X? We calculated, right? It's 7.9 times 10 to the negative 7. OK, so if you compare this to your 0.45, Extremely small, right? Yeah, so that's why the small x approximation works. Okay, that's why you have certain standard to meet to use your small x approximation. All right? So that's actually your step number three, right? Step number four. You want to make sure the answer that the x you saw is correct, right? And the, the, the way you check it is actually, OK, if that is my small x, OK, then I can actually use that to calculate my k, right? Because I know 
if this is correct, and then when I plug back into my equation, which is like two times 7.9 times 10 to the negative seven raised to the second power, divided by 0.45 minus 7.9 times 10 to the negative seven. Okay, if I do this calculation, okay, then I should get back a number that should agree with the equilibrium constant provided inside the questions, right? So when you do these calculations, you'll find out the value is actually 5.6 times 10 to the negative 12. Okay, which is actually exactly the same as this guy. Okay, then you know you have done everything properly. Concentration of your I2. It's going to equals to, of course, this is actually equilibrium, right? I2 concentration at equilibrium and the I minus concentration at equilibrium. Okay, this can be calculated from here, right? That is actually your I2, that is actually I minus. So this will be 0.45 minus 7.9 times 10 to the negative 7. Okay, the other one is actually well, 2 times 7.9 times 10 to the negative 7. A chemical reaction 2NO plus Cl2, they are all in the gas form, that's going to produce 2NOCl, again, the gas form. It tells you, okay, if today you have NO and Cl2, they have both initial concentration of 2M, and then you have Kc of this number, you want to calculate the concentration of this at equilibrium. So what's our first step? First step is always check whether you can just use small x approximation, right? So step number one, can we use small x approximation? Yes, right, because it's larger than 10 to the fourth, right? So yes, okay, small x approximation. Okay, now the next thing is actually to judge. Should I start with all reactant or all product? Product, right, because the, your K is actually huge, right? So we know we should start with product. Okay, so what does this mean? Okay, you will see that very clear in the second step. Okay, so let me write out the equation. 2NO plus Cl2, that give you 2NOCl. And the Kc is 6.25 times 10 to the 4. Okay, so in your questions, what it tells you that you have initial 2M of NO, 2M of Cl2, right? But you know, if you want to use small x approximation, we will assume everything become what? Become a product to start with, right? So when you write out your I, C, E, you know your I want to start with all the things converted to a product. So if that is the situation you have, okay, you want to convert it all into product, then you know how many products you are going to have. If you look at the coefficient carefully, two, right? So you need two more of NO with one more of CO2 that can produce two more of NOCl, right? So right now you know you have two more of NO, two more of CO2, okay? Then you should be able to see that, okay, in the initial, probably you're going to have two more of NOCl because the coefficient is actually, here to here is actually one to one ratio, right? Another important thing you should see is that if you consume all your NO, you actually only need to consume one more of your Cl2. Therefore, in your initial condition, 
you should still have one more of CO2 existing in your initial condition. This is actually a very essential concept you need to know. So after here, okay, the same thing is going to happen. You know you're going to start with your product side. Right? A small X is going to move to your reactant side now. You're going to have something going to decrease in your product side, right? Sometimes people prefer to, okay, just put minus X here. Then you know if you consume X for your product, pay attention to your coefficient, okay? You're going to form X for your NO, but you only have one half of the X for your CO2. So you can definitely do this, no problem at all. But some people doesn't really like the concept that you have uh, fractions in front of your X. So some people will write minus 2X, X and plus 2X. This is fine too. When you reach equilibrium, you will know this will be 2X, this will be 1 plus X, this will be 2 minus 2X. Okay, and this will be the equilibrium concentration for your NO, CO2, and NOCl. So for step two, the most essential part is actually, can you actually write out this expression for each species? And once you have that, the next thing is actually solve for your X, right? We know our K is going to equal to MOCl squared. NO square CO2 first power. MOCL we know is actually 2 minus 2x seconds power. NO is actually 2x seconds power. CL is actually 1 plus x first power. So here is actually the part we are going to do the small x approximation again. 2 minus 2x is going to be approximate as 2. So your numerator will be 2 to the second power. You won't throw away the very little thing you have, right? So this will be 2x squared. 1 plus x will be just simplified into 1. <clears throat> All right, and then you know this whole thing need to equals to 6.25 times 10 to the fourth power. So if you clean the things up, this will be 4 over 4x squared equals to 6.25 times 10 to the fourth power. 4 and 4 cancels out. x squared is equals to 1 over 6.25 times 10 to the fourth power. Therefore, you know your x is equal to square root of this whole thing, right? That's going to give you a number of 4 times 10 to the negative third. Then that's how you calculate your x. So once you get your x, the next thing is actually you will be able to know the concentration of your NO it's going to equal to 2x. Concentration of your CO2 is going to equal to your 1 plus x. Concentration of your NOCl at equilibrium is going to equal to 2 minus 2x. So once you calculate all those things, use those numbers to back calculate the corresponding equilibrium constant. Okay. And it should agree with the equilibrium constant given in the questions. Okay, that's all the things we need to do for this small x approximation.